these are my top five surf fishing secrets for reading the beach. Number five, pre-trip scouting. Before you go surf fishing, take a little time to do some pre-trip scouting. The first thing you should check is the wind forecast. You can use free apps like Wind Alert or Wind Finder to find direction and velocity of the wind. The wind forecast can give you some insight into what to expect when reading the beach. If there is little to no wind, then you will have a difficult time finding sandbars, especially if you're trying to beat the crowds and get out before sunrise. You can also scout the beach using webcams. Although these cameras aren't top of the line technology, they can offer some great insight into what the surf looks like. I have used webcams to find structure like rip currents and holes. Again, this is going to be easier when the wind is causing water movement and the sun is out. Beach cams can be a great resource to those who live out of state and are planning a trip in the near future. Another tactic for pre-trip scouting is using Google Maps to search for structure. This free tool is great for finding larger, pronounced structure like points but realize that structures in the surf are likely to change with tropical storms and hurricanes. Number four, exploration. I have found some of the best structures in the surf by exploring large stretches of beach that are only accessible on foot. You will find this especially true with national parks like Fort Pickens in Pensacola. During the summer months when popular public beaches get packed, I travel with minimal gear and venture down the beach looking for structure. Although difficult to get to, empty beaches offer some excellent unfished zones. With the rise in the sport of surf fishing, you're going to have to explore more to find prime surf fishing real estate. Number three, identifying structure combos. It's exciting to find fish producing structure in the surf, but you can easily increase your chances at catching fish by finding areas that offer multiple structures. One of the most common structure combos I find on a regular basis is a rip current and deep hole. These zones are some of my favorite as they pull the bait out to the fish who are waiting in ambush in the deep water. I like to cast my set rig right inside the deep water on the edge of the rip current and wait for the fish to pick it off. If you can find these structure combos when reading the beach, you will definitely increase your shot at finding the fish. Number two, fishing close to a pass or jetty. Here along the Gulf Coast, we have areas that offer a surf zone adjacent to a jetty or pass. Some of the biggest pompano I have ever caught have been next to these prominent structures. When fishing a jetty, be mindful of where you place set rigs as the strong current can pull you into the rocks, causing you to get snagged. Find a deep pocket of water close to the structure and make sure you change up bait if you're not getting bites. Remember, one of the top five surf fishing tips is to have bait variety as the fish's appetite can change based on feeding patterns. If you're surf fishing near a pass, you have access to deeper water and likely more fish. These deep zones have very strong currents, so spread out your baits so they don't tangle. Number one, surf fishing GPS. Once you have put in the hard work of scouting, exploring, and reading the beach, make sure you keep track of these hot spots. You can use free apps like Save Location GPS to pinpoint and save specific locations just like you do on a boat. When you save a location, you can also leave yourself a note with details about your last trip to that spot. The app also lets you share new locations with friends. I've spent some time fishing with Bama Beach Bum and he took me to his secret pompano spot. Hey, let me share that spot with you. Although you can't have Bama Beach Bum's secret pompano spot, you can still become a master at locating structure in the surf. In my last video, I talked about how to find structure while surf fishing at the beach. Click the video on your screen right now to watch that video, or click the second video for the top five surf fishing tips to catch more fish. If you enjoyed the video, please like it. And as always, thanks for watching.